So, real quick, I want to talk to you a little bit about delayed success. Why does it take so long for you to get where you're trying to go, to be where you're supposed to be? Because it's your time. You've worked hard enough or you're someplace where you're not supposed to be. You're in some day job that you hate or you're not making the money you're supposed to make. And you just can't understand why other people are succeeding and you're not. So I want to talk to you about delayed success and how it is sometimes necessary. Necessary? Delayed success is sometimes necessary because in that delay, that's where you gain your wisdom and your knowledge and you perfect your craft. That is where you perfect your craft. The longer something takes to get done, the more you can be working on it and getting better at it. Better at that thing that you want to do, that that thing that you want to show the world, that success, those things that you want, those relationships that you see yourself having. It takes time and knowledge and experiences to understand how to handle that when you do get there. So it's a hard pill to swallow sometimes, but it's absolutely true about how we grow and how we are able to handle what is rightfully ours when we actually get there. A good example of when I had to wait and my delayed success was necessary was back when I started in music. I was working on all these demos and there was other people in the camp working on demos. And based on the work I was putting in and the feedback that I was getting, I was the one. It's like I was the golden child. Like I was gonna get signed first and move on and do all these things and then bring everybody else with me. However, I didn't get signed first. For some reason, LaShawn got signed first. LaShawn is the voice you're hearing on LL Cool J's doing it and doing it and doing it well. LaShawn got signed first and we were like all celebrating. But in the back of my mind, I was like, how come I didn't get signed first? Like, I have so much material. You know, I'm ready. I'm so good at this. Anyway. I ended up spending some more time in the studio working on my craft. And when I finally did get signed, I was signed to Tommy Boy Records and I became label mates with Queen Latifah and De La Soul, Digital Underground, and all these legendary groups. And it was such a blessing. Shortly after I got signed, I was so now ready that I won the World Championship Rap Contest. So maybe at the time where I thought I was supposed to be out there and having a major deal, that probably wasn't the right time. It probably wasn't God's time where I was supposed to be out there doing what I knew I was supposed to be doing. It takes perfect timing. And sometimes we don't, we don't have that down. We're not in charge of when that happens. Uh, I'll leave you with one more example. When I was hanging out with Original Flavor, Dame Dash, and Jay-Z over on 90th Street and 1st Avenue in Manhattan in New York, Dame and Dash would work his tail off every day trying to get Jay-Z a record deal. Jay-Z and Source Money was doing projects together. He was trying to get them a deal. I needed a new record deal at that time. And... It just wasn't coming together. Jay-Z was an exceptional artist. He was great. And 
Dame still couldn't get him a record deal. How is that? How could somebody be so talented and not get a record deal? Well, sometimes the timing is just not right. And we have to embrace that. We have to understand that sometimes we need to gain knowledge. We need to understand how to work the crowd more. We need to understand how to build websites on our own or understand the the details of, of designing um, a web page or a business card or how do radio commercials work? How do television commercials and TV shows work? If those are the fields you're trying to get into, sometimes we need to gain more knowledge and that's why your success is delayed. That's why that happens. We need to gain more knowledge. So accept it. Don't be upset. You're going to be better then than you are now when you finally come out to get what you deserve, to show the world how great you are, to help people. You're going to be more knowledge knowledgeable about what you're doing. Less people will be able to take advantage of you with this knowledge that you took the time to gain. So understand it and embrace it. Your delay in success is absolutely necessary. Don't be mad at that. Because when your time comes, it's going to be great. Jay-Z has 21 Grammys right now. You think he's pissed about coming out a couple years later than he thought he should have? I think he's okay. I feel so great about my delayed success. Because I spent time in, J, uh, in in day jobs, learning how to build websites on my own, writing code, learning how to work Sketch and Photoshop and writing HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Things that I just wouldn't have known to learn on my own. But I was put in certain areas and certain positions and worked around brilliant people who taught me about audio for television and all these different things and and allowed me to work on so many different projects with Tyler Perry and Ricky Smiley and for Miramax Films and The Matrix and all these different actors and actresses that I've been blessed to work with. That's delayed success at it, at its best. At its best. So make sure that no one is working harder than you while you're getting and on your way to where you're supposed to be. No one should be working harder than you. Because when you get there, your testimony is going to be great. So embrace that your delayed success is absolutely necessary.